Hello, my name is Emily Bonney. I'm currently enrolled in the psychology major at UMass Dartmouth. Hello, my name is Sajin Johar. I am a senior. I am a psychology major as well at UMass Dartmouth. Hi, my name is Kayla Perez, and I am also in the UMass Dartmouth psychology program. Hi, my name is Alexandra Prado, and I am also enrolled in the psychology program at U UMass Dartmouth. Today, we will be talking about the alcohol research in reference to COVID-19 project. The main findings have found that UMass Dartmouth students show higher levels of alcohol consumption from COVID-19, considering such variables of aloneness and stress. Um, it was common between the semesters of spring 2021 and 2022 for the rates of drinking with people socially to decline that was in reference to such of social distancing and guidelines created from our school. In reference to our table one, we did a one pair T test for our variables and found that stress and aloneness were significant. I want to start off the introduction by pointing out that college students are speculative by heavy, by heavy drinking use of alcohol and in respect of the COVID-19 pandemic, college students potentially may have been more inclined to take part in higher usage of drinking alcohol, which is a reference to Jackie. And we, as us researchers, have evaluated how UMass Dartmouth students had engaged in alcohol consumption during the spring semester of 2021 compared to the spring semester 2022, with that being our main research question. And along with our reasoning for it, of this research, of this topic stemming from the Charlotte and age group and how COVID-19 may have affected our peers and how they have interacted with alcohol. And as we, and one of our aims of this study, we examined the change in alcohol-related behaviors and habits of college students stemming from pre-COVID during, during the spring semester 2021 and post-COVID-19 2021. Um, we also anticipate to see changes in between drinking behaviors between during those two time periods. We also predict the, that the social variable will show the least amount of significance due to the social distancing guidelines that were in place during the spring semester of 2021. Our survey participants were 65 college students ranging from the freshman to senior class enrolled at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. 55 participants were females and the remaining 10 were males. These participants ranged between the ages of 18 to 23 predominantly and 25 up. Students were contacted via email through the university to participate in a survey conducted through the Qualtrics website. We conducted five paired sample t-tests which examined the relationship between alcohol behaviors of college students throughout spring semester of 2021 compared to that of spring semester 2022. These t-tests were conducted surrounding COVID-19 and its effects on numerous different variables including blackouts, consumption rates, drinking after stressful situations, drinking with other individuals, drinking alone, and drinking while using other substances, as well as other variables that were conducted separately. In regards to our methods to take our sample, we had one week to get as many UMass Dartmouth students as possible to respond to our survey. We had 75 participants before cleaning up our data. The questions were answered either open-endedly or on the Likert scale. There was a total of 25 questions, 20 questions relating to alcohol consumption and the five variables indicated in table one, as well as five other questions that were based on demographics so we could know our sample and who we are studying in terms of UMass Dartmouth students. We had three significant results out of our five variables that we tested. The first was drinking in a stressful situation, which increased from 2021 to 2022 from 0.80 to 1.94. 
The second significant result was for aloneness. Between the spring 2021 and spring 2022 semester, it increased from 0.62 to 1.65. The third significant result was blackout drinking and memory loss, which increased from 0.15 to 0.4. Now, we did have significant results for all three of these variables. However, the quant the quantity of drinks actually decreased, which was also significant. Um, the study showed that drinking overall increased between spring 2021 and spring 2022. The complication that was presented in the study was an uneven distribution of participants. A uh, majority of participants were female and the remaining were male. We had 55 females and 10 males. Gender does make a difference when conducting this type of study because drinking habits in men are different than women. A focus in many schools should be that the risks associated with drinking and how students can be aware of these implications when they do drink. And when conducting future studies like this, um, we should primarily focus on examining the incoming freshmen or the freshmen already and the senior class at the schools. For our research in terms of references, we, we compiled our references from UMass Dartmouth Library's data, uh, library online database via WebSo. And from there, we were able to pull a variety of, of references that, that correlated with our study. A couple of them um, are listed here, one of them being Bonaire and being the, his study being binge drinking before and after a, after a COVID-19 campus closure among first year college students with addictive behaviors and then another reference from Jackson, changes in alcohol use in drinking context due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a multi-method study of college student drinkers, alcoholism and clinical and experimental research. And the last being listed here being Merrill with recent alcohol induced blackouts among heavy drinking college students, a qualitative examination intentions, willingness in social context, experimental and clinical pharmacology. Not only do we have more of these references upon availability, but all these references were what helped us, or what was able to help us compile our variables of what we have listed before you.